for Andrew. Yeah, and our topic today is how to create a dramatic portrait. We're going to see what we can accomplish in 10 minutes or less, starting now. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think I did one more. Nope, it was nine. So, yeah, it was nine. So, pretend that was a roll of film back in the film days. And what we ended up doing there was I let her build, a, build it. And so I put it in her head. In fact, ironically, did you notice this wasn't even her shooting bay? No, it's not actually. Nope, nope. Her she shooting was bay. Okay. Yeah, this was her shooting bay right here. That's where I photographed her. Yes. Now, why did I move her to the other one? Far more dramatic. And Very also, dramatic. Yeah. And what else? You got the distraction. Look at this. Yeah. I shot with an 85 millimeter lens, so it was a fixed lens. And honestly, I'm not lazy, but we're sore. I mean, we're, <laughs> we're putting in 18 hour days here. I dropped to my knees to take these shots. And when I saw that, I was like, oh, man. I don't have a telephoto lens. I did the best I could to... You could crop that to a vertical. Yeah, but look at this. That, yeah, to, yes, to, to a portrait. But the point I'm getting at is... It, and actually, that wouldn't be good, a good square. Yeah, I, I like it, but I'm not in love. It's right here. I like it, but I'm not in love with them. Mm -hmm. I envision this for dramatic portraits. Yeah. That will, so... Yeah, there's more dreamy romantic. Exactly. This is dramatic. So what did I tell you? What did I teach you about those... What is that shade? What's that called? So, so a go between is where you, where you, where you get a light, mm -hmm. and with the I just realized something we didn't share the screen on that one. Um, so a go between, a gobo is where they used to put, let's say, a plant, a window shade, or something in front of the light mm -hmm. that produced a shadow in the background. Right. So yes, this was done. A lot of this was done in camera, but man, look at this. In look at that from here to here. But so I know I know the. I'm sharing the screen now. I'm. Sure, I, I wonder if I can't see the comments, but I bet you the comments are saying you're pulling on Angela. But now every time I don't share the screen, I call it pulling on Angela because I do it to her all the time. <laughs> she she always. Blame me for that stuff. Yeah. So here we are. Um, I, I love this here, but honestly, in my mind when I photographed it, I photographed it, or in my head, I saw it as a black and white. So here's the black and white. I had it turned off. Now it's as stunning as the black and white as well. I think I like the color personally, yep. but the black and white is ball. And, and what you could do is come down to the master tool, dial it back just a bit. Look. Oh wow. Look That's at beautiful. that. I wish our 70, 70 inch, our seventy inch display off to the right of us. Um, I wish it would actually capture the colors. This and for those out there watching, I'm gonna have you guys come over around here and look at what we're doing. Not right the second. Um, I'll have you come over here and look at what we're doing so you can see it. But I, I like that. Really so many options we have. All right. So the the effect, all it was, was that simple template that we created yesterday. It was under my template or my. Yeah, here we go. Yours. There we go. My templates, SP for starting point. I call it the animal. SP for starting point, and then that just took care of all the portrait tools that we typically use. Time. Yep, exactly. And then from there, just add the black and white. All right. Um, you know what, Angela? I'm going to try this. And let me get to, I apologize. Um, I'm looking for this. Here we are. And let's see if we can get the, co we got the comments right here. All right, so I'm going to pull up the comments. Interesting. Joseph. Right, we also got going here. Good. Now, by the way, now to change the eyeball colors. Yes, who said that? <laughs> Benjamin? Shoot, Angela, I wish. I don't think so. I'm going to try it. Oh, it did. Great. All right, so you guys can read the comments that we're seeing. All right? So it says right here, um, who was it? Was it? Benjamin said, hey, you can also change, you learn how to change the eye color. Exactly. Um, but since we made this into a template, I didn't add the eye color on it because we didn't want it to have the same color for everybody. Right. All right. That's 
That's yeah. one of those things I'll go back and do after the fact if I need to or want to, but it's not something I do all the time. I apologize. Angela, say something again. Testing, testing. There we go. Vanelli unplugged my microphone. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> All right, David, yes, it's a, we apologize. We, we are on a very limited internet connection here. So if we're freezing, we found out that the... The recording is good. So yeah. if you're having trouble watching this live, in about 20 minutes when um, YouTube finishes processing the stream, go back and rewatch it, and it should be fine. You're good to go. Gotcha. All right, guys, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to hang out in the chat pod for the next 10 minutes. So ask us anything pertaining to photography or Luminar. So in that chat pod... Ask us anything, or while we're here, if there's something you want us to photograph um, on, on set, let us know, and we'll try to get to it show them for tomorrow. Awesome. All right. Hey, guys, thanks so much for watching. Bye, everybody. Great, and we'll see you at the next coffee break.